Today we had a presentation panel discussion about EdTech, educational technology companies in Poland. The modern world currently is going through also many changes. Right? It's changing so rapidly in so many ways when it comes to creativity, when it comes to approach to sustainability, to development, to smart cities. We start with a question, what is that? Right, so the children stop, oh it's a flower, oh it's a sun, okay, why is it a sun, what does it remind you of, what color is that? Then we start, you know, color sorting, very primitive, then we do some primitive mathematics, then we go rotation, then we get into physics, and later on, at the age of eight, we end up with proper coding. We are the company who covers the earliest age of uh, coding uh, in the market, guarantee. This is the small and uh, nice alien. Okay. The product that we are talking about today is mainly to teach kids, the little ones, how to think in a systematic way, how to solve problems, how to build algorithms when it comes for issues they are facing in their real life. Our product is Squillab, laboratory for schools, that gives children opportunity to work on robotics, 3D printing, and gives teachers exact solutions with uh, scenarios, with exact plans, how to use this technology in the classroom. We following the needs of the children. We want to bring them to the full potential. They all keep on asking questions. For example, what would happen if I push the button? What if I push another and another? Let's try. Right, so we have uh, instant feedback. But there's something even closer to us that is a clock and it measures time. Do you know what it can be? The heart gives our life the tempo, the time. Yeah. Okay, thank you. One of the issues and one of the reasons actually why I started my company and I moved out of the education sector was to make this change because we need to introduce you know, AI and robotics and electronics as part of the curricula, not just as an extracurricular activity which seems to be happening at the moment. We, we get to a point where we only receive the service information. During the pandemic, uh, during our online classes, there was this uh, extremely important switch uh, we could see groups from towns all over the world, from small towns, from, from small villages near the border, so hundreds of kilometers away. And it was great because we could reach the groups and the schools that we could uh, never reach before. We are teaching students now who are 20, 21st century students. They are what we call the digital natives. How have we prepared enough for, how have we prepared them enough for what's to come? In terms of financial literacy, the economy is constantly changing. So today I had the opportunity to meet other friends from the industry, some people from the government area, and I'm very thankful to be here. And it will be a very good time, I believe, for my team and myself.